this is amazing because this is taken from the gold now episode number 39 featuring eric griffin crystal Lear, and brendan Schaub, and kids names come up right having kids names and shit and you know newborn baby like having kids and what you're going to call your kids all that shit kids names kids names kids names kids names if you say kids names enough you're going to get the fucking police outside of your door right anyway cool kids names yeah so they're talking about kids names and you know then the subject turns to like oh the names you give your kids you have to be kind of careful of it because you don't want your kids to get bullied in school and it's really fascinating because in this little clip you'll see it never crossed brendan's brain naming his kids what he named them would ever get them bullied in school it never once crossed his name it's like he he just thinks those names are just quite normal maybe because he's in a bubble in la maybe because he's a genuine redact but it never crossed his brain to put those two things together so he's talking in one side of his brain about being careful about what you name your kids without ever contemplating what his kids are called like it's a fucking bizarre clip and of course eric and chris kind of subtly call him out on it and he still doesn't really get it and he kind of you know he's kind of like caught in the like a deer caught in the headlights a little bit surprised to hear that for the first time oh people think those names are weird so it's a fucking interesting clip because it kind of goes to show how warped his fucking brain is in terms of the way it kind of perceives things you know like his stuff is really okay everyone else's stuff is weird i don't know so it's a strange clip let me just play it so you can kind of get where i'm coming at because for me i found this fascinating most emotional i've ever been through yep. the whole process yep. yeah yeah yep. was knowing that i was like oh wow yeah you know he so, doesn't have a tail yeah or whatever it is right. and you found out that <laughs> he doesn't have a tail is his code for saying the kid didn't have a, a disability or something like can you like not to put down anybody, but can you imagine? <laughs> like anyway, let, let's not even let's not even go down that route. Gender too, huh? You did the blood work. We already do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a dope. boy. Yeah, yeah. We did that here, right? We talked about that here. No, Maybe I didn't no. say that. Oh no. Oh, Actually, it's for some. I'm saying that. Yes. Uh, you well, know, so. having a boy. Pick a name out yet? Yeah, but I'm not gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep don't, that, keep don't, that don't keep it because people back. Like, I had a friend named Jamie who I don't like. Yeah, yeah. Keep but that I will say this though, like we're, so we're we're keep talking about middle names. Uh huh. So I had this rule with Rachel though that we have with each other. If you say a middle name and you laugh right after, then it's off the table. Okay. Because she comes up with some like uh, yeah wild you know, shit. Yeah. Some crazy. Um. Uh. That's great, dude. Like, what about cinnamon roll? <laughs> like, yeah, she, right, right. Even if she's joking, she'll say some things. She'll be yeah. like, "We like something." She'll be like, "Well, that's you know," and I'll say. Whatever you know, whatever cinnamon roll Griffin, then we just yeah, start yeah, laughing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you, can't. Yeah, yeah. you always got to think what the kids are going to bully him the name for. Oh well, that's what I always do. Yeah, like, what are they going to bully him for? I mean, they're going to get bullied anyway, you know. Yeah, not but if the kids, name's though, too easy. Not my kids. You, you named your sons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Tiger yeah. and Boston. Tiger and Boston. Yeah. What are you a place, dude? I could, yeah. I could roast, man. You could, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And he could beat we you up. We should just dress up as little kids and yeah. go like, "Oh, it's Tiger." Yeah, yeah do it, do it. And my like, seven year old can beat up both of them right now. Yeah, he, 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 that's what I want to have a little. Like yeah. He puts on one of those red, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, you, like, your dad likes geography. <laughs> <laughs> you like cereal, bro? Yeah. <laughs> I think the world's all set on Joes and Bobs and yeah, Bills. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's why we did it. And then also, their life's too easy. They need a little adversity yeah. so they got those weird names they're either gonna be professional athletes or strippers the, the thing about it is tiger is one of those names that it's like it's 50 50 you know people yeah. are either gonna be like oh wow tiger. Yeah, yeah 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 or they're gonna be like making fun because it's tiger right yeah if so he's not like, successful he's gonna be it's gonna be tough no man. but you know what it, it anyway so you get the point of it right don't you find it fucking hilarious that he had no real good clever comeback for that you know call out from eric and also, the first thing you kind of went to in defense was like, your kids, my kids will beat, up, beat you up. That's the first defense from a professional comedian is to just go straight to violence. Kind of, you know, gives you an insight into the guy's brain. But I just love the fact that in his head, he never correlated the idea that Tiger and Boston are pretty odd name for kids. Don't get me wrong. For kids, you know, kind of cute. Maybe over time it'll be cool. Same way, you know, how Steve Martin's kid, when they got named Apple, everyone was freaking out. And now suddenly all celebrity names are weird and everyone's kind of get used to it because now all people, regular people who aren't celebrities name their kids weird names. So it's not that crazy. And if you go, if you go to a particular school, maybe there'll be kids with weirder names than that. So it'll kind of level out. But to sit there and say what you're saying about, oh, yeah, we're, we were thinking about kids' name. We had to be very careful about this. Kind of insinuating that, you know, you took a lot of time and care to make sure your kid's name wasn't weird. But then you have kids that are called, uh, ones that named us after an animal and one that's named after a state. 
the fact that the is it a state right boston it is right if i'm not mistaken he has no connection to boston in the slightest and if i'm not mistaken this is me going to be throwing out a narrative here i have a feeling he named his kid boston after joe rogan <laughs> it's a city so it's a city boston's a city um where is it in what's this what state is it in why well, can't i remember this michigan is it michigan no what state is it in i don't know what state um boston's in what state is it in it's in the one where all, all like they don't really like white people too much, right? So they don't like black people too much. That's the one. Oh, what's the fucking name? They don't like white people too much. What's that state called? Massachusetts. Is it Massachusetts? There we go. Yeah, they don't like, that's the only thing I know about that state. It's not really friendly to the blacks. <laughs> that's what I heard. If you go to a pub around, because I think there's a lot of Irish immigrants there, right? Which is weird, isn't it? I don't, I, I've never understood that. I've never understood that. The Irish got discriminated against, right? But then the Irish are also not really fond of blacks either. Odd. I don't know. We'll, I guess we will hate each other. Doesn't matter. So, long story short, I find it funny. <laughs> I find it funny that most likely he named his fucking kid after Joe Rogan. Because Rogan's famously from Boston. So I've got a feeling he named the kid after... Because I think his explanation of Boston, the kid's name was that it's... um. It's what you call it. Uh, it's a place that he does really well in in terms of business, right? He sells all the tickets there or something. Is that true? Or something like that? But I don't think that's true because he always talks about Texas being his number one place. He did his comedy special in Texas throughout the Gringo Papi. So why not name your kid Austin, right? Or something like that. But he didn't. He named it Boston. And I have a feeling he named the kid Boston because of Rogan. So if you name your kid after Rogan and you name your kid after, fuck, in honor of Rogan or you name your kid after an animal, you're in a position to kind of pontificate about having kids' names that they might get bullied for because those are the two biggest bullying names anyone could ever have, right? Being named after an animal and being named after fucking, in honour of fucking Joe Rogan. Can you imagine that? I'm sure there's some people out there, some podcast, imagine there's some podcast fans out there because there's those fucking redacts that get tattoos of Rogan's face on their body, right? There must be some people out there who have genuinely named their kids after Rogan. Or after like Joey Diaz <laughs> or Eddie Bravo, right? Or even like there must be these guys out there that have named their kids after that guy. I'm sure of it. Because there's enough Redux that are willing to take a pic a crazy picture of like Rogan looking all crazy and you know, whatever maybe with that fucking, you know, workout face that he has on their leg. Like imagine. There's probably people out there that are fucking called their kids Rogan or Joseph in honor of fucking him. <laughs> can you imagine how redacted that is <laughs> anyway i don't know i find i find this clip fucking hilarious like you know saying what you're saying and not thinking that is fucking hilarious also saying that your kids are gonna beat up people that take the piss out of them it's also fucking funny when you know that you gave them those names in the first place you put them in harm's way effectively it's fucking obscene but again what can you do man <laughs> what can you do Honestly, I fucking love this. I fucking love this guy. He's the best. He's legitimately one of my favorite things to kind of observe observe in a human from afar. What are you guys saying in the chat? Um, Papa's kids are getting bullied because of their parents, not their names. Nah. To be fair, maybe they don't. I don't know. Maybe those kids doesn't because the names aren't too bad. It was just I was just surprised. I think he mentioned in the show, Chief I when he named these kids what he's named them. It's just that he was shocked that people would think they were weird. That's the thing that really I couldn't figure out. I was like, hold on, name your kids what you want to name them. But why are you surprised that regular people might hear your kids name and think they're weird? Because not, you know, I don't I don't know a tiger apart from Tiger Woods. Do you? I don't know a Boston. I've never heard of a, someone called Boston in my entire life. Again, I'm not in America, but, you know, they sound weird to me. It doesn't matter really because they're your kids, do what you want. But it's the fact that he never, ever, it never contemplated in his brain that it could ever be seen as weird is what makes me fucking laugh so much i'm like fucking it lives, lives like a in another universe <laughs> um i know a thousand tysons i'm welsh okay he's copying theo's hairstyle now yeah definitely he's doing that but then he's not he's not he's not confident enough to kind of rock it all the time because he has to have these stuff fucking you know thick boy hats on all the time to promo and shit papa's kid duh, duh, duh. <laughs> I think the kids' middle names are Jamaica Plains and Lowell's. <laughs> Neo-technical, hilarious. 
Uh, yeah, Rogan titles are cringe. Exactly, Brandon. Horrible. Um, yeah, exactly. I think Austin would have been a pretty decent name, to be honest. I think, isn't that, yeah, that's Post Malone's name, isn't it? Austin. That's how I remember it from. Uh... <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Okay, cool. Exactly, Faz. Yeah, he, per- he, he typically prefers, he typically, typically refer to them as T and B. Maybe he knows their silly names. Yeah, I think so. But I think that's also him trying to give them nicknames. I think he's from that generation of people that give themselves nicknames. Like I'm, I think there's there there are people in this world who wear every jersey, who don't have a team. They they support everything, right? They don't have a team. They're like um, they're like that actor that was that was watching football that time. There was this famous actor that was watching a football match and he had like the NFL snapback on. I've never seen somebody wear an NFL snapback. It's just like, that was him just saying, I like football, right? He doesn't support anybody. Weird are people like that, right? And there's also guys who give themselves nicknames. So I think him calling his kids T and B is like his way to kind of give his kids a nickname by, you know what I mean, by force. <laughs> it's, not, it's like, it's so awful. Usually your friends give you nicknames, right? usually it's the, and they're usually quite self-deprecating because you've done something dumb like they might call you shits because you shit yourself or something they don't you know what i mean but he, he's that person that no i want to give my kids a cool nickname so tb you know like anyway um what can you do 